Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our service time. We have a good group that's ready to sing for us and we hope that you are going to be free to stay with us because if you need to call, uh, Dottie has phone operators up there that can talk to you and pray with you, take your requests or whatever. And we uh, will be, we want to share some of the word with you because over and over in the letters, they say this is their only church. And so if you was able to go to church, you'd hear some Bible read. And so that's why that uh, I want to always share some scripture. And this is uh, the whole heart of the gospel. So we want to read, uh, especially for our second shut-in people. You know, sometimes they just simply do not feel like trying to read or sometimes their eyesight keeps them from it. But this is a precious uh, uh, portion of scripture and I hope that you can remember it. In John the third chapter, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell from whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the spirit. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? And Jesus answered and said, Art thou a master of Israel, and knoweth not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto you, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I had told you of earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, either even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so uh, must uh, the Son of Man be lifted up. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest their deeds be, uh, shall be reproved. But he that doeth uh, truth cometh to the light, and his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. 
the first 21 verses of uh, John, the third chapter, telling us the words of Jesus, how that we must be born again. Now, a lot of, uh, a lot of good moral people think that you can go to church and pay your uh, bills and treat everybody good and that that'll get you to heaven. But Jesus said, we must be born again. And so we uh, pray that you will be able to understand this if you don't and be able to accept him as your savior. All right, let's pray and then we will uh, uh, have our singers. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this precious portion of scripture and how this is what our life depends on. Our future depends on everything depends upon this uh, lesson that you taught us. And so, Father, help those to understand it that's never been able to before. Help them to know. You said that we must be born again. And so help those that need this to experience it this night. Bless our group, our phone operators, and Lord, we just ask for souls to be saved. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight uh, tonight we are happy to have with us uh, for uh, the Altro Church of God from Altro, Kentucky. That's, um, and uh, we have uh, Chris Turner as the pastor, and uh, we have Brother J.C. Uh, with us tonight. He's been a little under the weather, but we're glad to have them all, and they're all geared up, ready to sing for us, and, and uh was teasing them. They had lots of songs before in their song books, and I said, are you going to be able to sing them all? And they didn't know about the timing, but they'll get as many as possible in. So right now, let's welcome the Outro Church of God. Praise the Lord. We're honored to be here tonight. We just appreciated the Lord for an opportunity that we could come and just tell you a little bit of how good that the Lord is tonight. And Amen. We just pray that uh, somebody may be watching that don't know the Lord tonight. Amen. And he's, the Bible says he's rich unto all that will call upon him tonight. I'll sing this for Jesse Gramble tonight. In, in our song books, this is page 10. This is one of those old ones that we used to sing to congregations. And you have heard a little more this in the book. You have heard of Phyllis, David, and his sling. You have heard of many Jonas and King Joseph, and of Jonah and the well they often sing. There are many, many others in the Bible. I should like to meet them all, I do declare. By and by, Lord, will surely let us be at that meeting in the air. There is going to be a meeting in the air, in that sweet, sweet by and by. I am going to meet you, meet you over there.
Thank you, Lord. God, I thank God for being here tonight. I thank you for all his blessings he's done for me and my family. And I just want to sing for the Lord. When I look around and see the good things he does for me, I know I'm not worth so much to thank him for. I've got so much to thank him for. So much to praise him for. You see, he has been Some wet morning, I am gone from this fellow tears. I'm a go going home to live again when they lay me in the grave. Don't you be for me, cause I'll leave, I'll leave again, again over on the other side. And I'll leave, I'll leave again, again over on the other side. side. Oh, 
seeds and valleys. I've walked through some darkness. I've waded through rivers of green. Oh, the enemy told me that I was forsaken. No one was hiding from me. But I didn't make it this far on my own. So often my strength is on the hands of the Savior. to be back tonight. Let me up on the hill. Praising the Lord. I want to ask, are you saved out there tonight? If you ain't, God will save you. All you have to do is kneel and ask God to forgive you of your sins and mean it from the heart. And he'll come in. And man, it ain't nothing like it. Praise the Lord forever. I remember standing at my daddy's bedside As the tears filled up the wrinkles on his face As I held his weathered hand He smiled and whispered Son, I'm going to live in a better place and I'll have eyes that will never fill with teardrops. I'll have legs that will never ache with pain. And I'll have hands that will never ache and wither. 
and a heart that will never break again. I have often heard and read about the city where with Jesus we will live forever. for my dwelling and the streets of gold will run by my front door and all the eyes of the blind will then be open and we'll join the victory march with the land and all the death that's never heard the road thunder will rejoice to hear the Savior call his name and I'll have I Praise the Lord. I've got a scratchy voice. Had it for a year, I guess I have. The Lord ain't, uh, he, he ain't seen fit to, to bless me yet, but he will. I'm just a looking furry. But we've been through a battle, me and my wife both. I had a little cancer took off my lip right down through there. She had one took off the bottom of her ear, plumbed down to the bottom of her neck. But we still are hanging on. We're hanging on to that man above. Amen. Never give up. Amen. Don't never quit Amen. in this life. Man, I'll tell you, God will take you home one day when he comes out of his children. And I want to go, don't you? Lord, I don't want to do one thing on my own. Put me where you want me, Lord. That's where I belong. Give me the strength to do that. I mean the lowest valley I can climb the highest hill. Yeah. Lord, I want to be what you want me to be. Lord, I want to do what you want me to be. Forgotten how to pray. If I live to be a hundred, I'll keep holding to your hand until you come to take me home to that. 
that promised land. The Lord, I want to be what you want me to be. The Lord, I want to do what you want me to do. Lord, I want to stay in the center of thy will. When I'm in the lowest valley, I can climb the highest hill. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God forever. Love the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Do you not know, believe there's a day just uh, as they sing a song, there's a day just down in front of us. I believe you know the you know the Bible talks about eyes ain't here. Eyes ain't seen, ears ain't here, neither in the heart of men all the things that God has prepared for them that love Hallelujah. him, serve him. So let's just hang on to the Lord tonight. And I know God has got good things in store for us tonight. Amen. There's a day down in front. I know it surely comes when those eastern skies will open wide, revealing God's dear Son. And I know from here to heaven is but a twinkling of an eye, and in the midst of all His glory. Let's cry. Well.
stretch down that mighty hand and save you. Praise the Lord. Nothing like the spirit of the Lord into your heart. Nothing like it. I'm pressing on through this world of care.
Some of them ain't with us. We got more singers, but they ain't with us. Chose to do something else tonight. But we here, praise the Lord. God's here. And he'll save you if you just ask him. If a man has fallen, brother, pick him up. Tell him about the Savior and his wonderful love. Tell him how Satan has led him astray. Tell him about Jesus, do it today. Tell him about Calvary and the rugged cross. And how the Savior paid the awful call. Tell him about heaven. Tell him about Jesus, do it today. If you are a soldier, call the man upstairs. Remember the lost sheep in every prayer. Let him help your brother who's drifted away. Tell him about Jesus. Do it today. Tell him about Calvary and the rugged cross. And how the Savior paid the awful call. Tell him about heaven. Teach him how to pray. Tell him about Jesus. Do it today. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm sorry about the scratchy throat tonight. All right. Thank you so much. The Altro Church of God from Altro, Kentucky. Their phone number to get in touch with them is 606-398-2623. And so uh, we'll have a, a couple of them come over and, and help with a request if they'd like. Uh, from uh, Floyd County, we have Irene that is called for Charlotte, her daughter. She's in the hospital, and for another daughter that uh, that's very sick, and Irene's also sick. From uh, Pulaski County, Margie, uh, pray for uh, Grace has the virus, and the doctors has only given her 24 hours to live. And WLJC is her church. Uh, Betty Maggard from Lexington enjoyed the singing and also the Bible reading every night, and she watches night and morning. I appreciate that. Uh, 
Dad is called for his daughter from Knox County Health issue. Tony from Powell needs some sleep. Louise from Pulaski County for some uh, injured ribs. Um, Terry from Menifee Finances. Uh, the Campbell family, a grandson that's very sick and an unspoken request. We have David from Jackson for Louise that's um, in the hospital at Hazard. Hospice is with uh, her and David needs prayer also. A husband from Perry County, um, his, his lungs, he's bleeding from his lungs and they don't know where it's coming. Sometimes you can have be on blood thinner and make that happen. I'm not a doctor, but I just know from experience that that, that can happen. Uh, but anyway, L London, uh, Phyllis, um, L Linda for her family, Della from Madison, the singers are very uplifting and pray for a daughter that has the virus. I thought this virus was a going away, didn't you? Or I was yeah. in hope so. Uh, Bourbon, Ruby, uh, Bourbon County, um, uh, Ruby is called and uh, she needs prayer. She loves this bunch. They called you a bunch instead of that's a group. Fine. <laughs> is that well, fine? That's, that's from fine the country. Me anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's uh, from uh, Morgan County. Several family members and a uh, uh, pray for a friend. His mother has lung cancer. And uh, all right, Tony. Uh, Needs a good night of sleep. He can't sleep because of pain. Uh, Alfred for his wife that is sick and for a friend that has a problem dealing with her son. Geneva from Johnson County for Brian that's in the hospital. Earl and Goldie has called and a grandson, uh, his grandmother has called for him. All right, uh, let's uh, go over to the pastor here and see uh, What's, uh, how's, what would you like to share with the people tonight as a pastor? Well, as a pastor, I'd like to tell you that God is good. And, mm -hmm. and he's good to all, he's good to all his people tonight. And yes. We're right. just glad to be part of, part of this uh, ministry that we could come in and just tell you a little bit uh, about how good that God is. And uh, amen. And I know there's a lot of people that are standing in need of night and it's self-evident yes. from the from the request yes. that was made known unto us tonight. Yes. And uh, yes. I'm certain there were others that uh, yes. maybe just didn't call in. And, uh, mm -hmm. and I begin to think about all the hospitals, you know, begin, and uh, nursing homes. Mm -hmm. that, uh, and you know, maybe there's that shut in that watched it. Maybe nobody is praying for tonight. Mm -hmm. Maybe nobody knows about them. They might, might live up in a head of a hollow somewhere. And mm -hmm. amen, and they just don't know anybody to, but you know, there's, but God knows yes. where those people are at. Yes. You know, you know, in the book of Psalms, he said, if I take the wings of a morning uh -huh. and fly to the uttermost parts of the earth, he said, behold, thou art there. Yeah. Hey, Amen. He's right there. He, mm -hmm. he don't go on, he don't, he don't go on vacation. And uh, mm -hmm. he's always with us tonight for what, for what you stand in need of tonight. If you'll call upon him, hey, amen. He is faithful and just tonight. Hey, amen. And he loves you. And he died for you that one, for one yes. day. That one day after this life is over, we could have an opportunity oh, yes. to go to heaven. That's what. Yes. That's why. That's why we come out to sing songs yes. about him tonight. That's why Miss Margaret mm -hmm. is is up here, Amen, every night, to mm -hmm. Amen, uh, mm -hmm. and getting these prayer requests and sending the good news of Jesus Christ yes. out because somebody yes. needs to hear about it. Yes, so, yes, Amen, and uh, God is good to His people. Yes, yeah. He is. All right, we're glad to have J.C. back with us tonight. Sorry, good they're been back. going through some. Much trouble, but uh, uh, one scripture says, "Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but He brings us through them Lord all." all. Yeah. Yes. So that's we'll that's good. Night, yes, yes. All right. Uh, do you have any church announcements or anything you'd like to uh, uh, mention before? Uh, we have church service on a Wednesday night at seven o'clock, and a Saturday at seven o'clock. If you ain't got nowhere else to go, and you, You'd like to come be with us at, uh, amen, uh, we're at 55 Dange Creek Road, that's D-A-N-G-E Road at Alfro, Kentucky, 41339. And you may have no idea what that is, but more than likely you got one of those smartphones that's probably mm -hmm. smarter than me <laughs> and everybody you. else. Yeah. Amen, you could pop that in and that'll probably mm -hmm. bring you right to the parking lot. Mm -hmm. We'd be glad to have you at any, 
any service and just amen and mm -hmm. you ain't got no got no church to ain't got a home church to go to we, we'd love to have you come be with us and mm -hmm. worship with us just yes. a little while that's all that's all it's about yes just about serving and worshiping god tonight amen yes yes that's that's very good well we need to pray and all these and pray for them and uh, uh, if you did not get your request in, uh, sometimes we were late uh, getting them uh, down and we don't always get them on before the service is over. But uh, I, I still we, hear the phones are ringing. Yeah, so. they are. They're still ringing and they're still praying up there. So, uh, so it's not your phone call might not get acknowledged on the air, but we do our best. There's yeah. some calls came down right then. So... Uh, we have a special avenue that we send these requests down from upstairs. So uh, when uh, when my son came home from the Navy, he was on a ship all the time. And so they have everything very uh, compact on there. You don't have to utilize every inch of space. So he thought that uh, we needed a different route to uh, get the request down. So he installed us a, um, a kind of a a chute that uh, they drop down from upstairs. So sometimes if you hear a big clank in the middle of service, that's that's some of the requests coming down. So that's how that came about. And uh, uh, come on, Don. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's not <laughs> going. <laughs> uh, <coughs> okay. All right. It says have been very blessed tonight and pray for her children. That's good. Danny from McKee, uh, pray for him and his children. Amen. So if someone's been blessed, and that's what we're praying for. And yeah. we don't know who has made peace with God because, you know, yes. that, uh, that's, right. uh, that's why we can't be anybody's judge because we don't know what's going on in their heart. But, no, no. but he does. Yes. He, he knows does. our thoughts. He knows every word we're going to say before we say it. So, <laughs> yes, uh, you know, if... That's that's good. So, man, I'm reminded of the scripture before we pray tonight. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Yes. You know, a lot of you might be there tonight, and you might be feel like, man, mm -hmm. I'm all alone. I can't do anything, and everybody's forgot about me. I mean, I'm here to tell you that the Lord ain't tonight. Mm -hmm. Whatever the, you, whatever your situation is tonight, while we pray for these, mm -hmm. I ask you to pray, mm -hmm. Amen, for your needs tonight. And yes. Remember the script. Is anything too hard for the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. Let's pray right now. Lord, Heavenly Amen. Father, dear Lord, we certainly ask, dear Lord, for your blessing upon all these needs here tonight, God. We just pray that you just move upon them, and dear Lord, those that may be praying at home right now, dear God, for the things that they stand in need of tonight, dear Lord, the shut-in tonight. Amen. The hospital, Lord, we just pray, God, that you just visit them. Pray that you uplift them and just help them tonight, God. And Dear Lord, we know that you can do all things, dear Lord, and our, and our we ask for your guidance, we ask for your blessing to be with them tonight, Lord. We love you, we appreciate you, in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless the Lord. All right. Amen. Thank God. All right. Either of you have something else you'd like to share before we got a, we got a few minutes? We got a few minutes. I'd like for, I'd like for everybody tonight to, to pray for my wife. Okay. She, she's pretty sick. Yeah, that's right. Taking the that's chemo right. pills and them ain't, them ain't helping her none. And uh, just pray, pray for the Lord to heal her. I believe you can. I believe you will. Mm -hmm. God, so God will do anything in their name if we believe. If we only believe. Amen. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's... Uh, her name's Barbara, Barbara Collins. Okay. I love her tonight, appreciate her. She's awful good to me. Amen. Again, Miss Mark, we're taking a little bit of time just to just appreciate an opportunity. Amen, and mm -hmm. uh, ask you to support this ministry. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, uh, this, is, right. this has been times, and uh, this has mm -hmm. been hard times for a lot of people. Yeah. Certainly been a hard time, a lot of hard times for a lot of churches, and mm -hmm. Amen, and for and for this ministry tonight, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, but you know, uh, Bible said it's more blessed to give yes. than it is to receive. And, uh, yes, ma'am. You know, the Lord wants us to be faithful. You know, He said to be faithful in a few things. 
He said, and I will make you rule over many things. Mm -hmm. You say, well, I ain't got very much. Well, you don't have to yeah. be very faithful in just a little a small thing of what yes. God has given you yes. to do, yes. whatever that may be to that. And, uh, mm -hmm. But I just know that God is more than able to meet every need that we all stand in need of tonight. And, amen. Amen. And uh, I can feel, I, I, I can feel uh, in my spirit tonight the hearts of the people, how, how some of them says, uh, I can't. And, uh, mm -hmm. Amen. And of course, some of them says, I won't. Yeah. Amen. Tonight. He, he but, uh, yeah. But I'm here to tell you tonight, amen, Satan don't want you to get involved, amen, in working with God's people. Mm -mm. See, he don't want us to be blessed, mm -hmm. amen, he wants us to be cursed. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus yeah. told, when the, told of the children of Israel, he said, if you do these things, I will bless you. Yes. And he also went a little farther on and said, hey, if you don't do these things, I'll curse you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, we got to love the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. Bible said to love the Lord thy God with all of thy heart, soul, soul mind, mind, and strength. strength. <laughs> Amen. That's everything that we've got. Yes. yes. Amen. And I believe anything else, we're falling short tonight. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I believe when Jesus was a 12 year old boy, he recognized something that, that some people never recognize in their life. Jesus said, It's time to be about yeah. the Father's business. Mm. Amen. So. Yes. God, God bless every, God bless each and every one of you tonight. Yes. Appreciate you watching us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, we've had so many friends to pass away uh, recently, and uh, yes. and uh, some of them so unexpectedly, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that is just to. one thing about life. Yeah. It's un uncertain. We know it's appointed unto man once to die, and yeah. after this, the judgment. So we know, we all know, we're going to die but uh, we don't know when, and that's why we've heard of these young people uh, exactly. taking their own lives and everything and how, how miserable they must be to do this. And so we need to pray for mercy and yes. for all these young people to be delivered from these drugs that's yeah. just killing, uh, wiping out whole families. And yeah. it's just such a dangerous thing. You, uh, it's just, yeah. Well, we've never needed the Lord any more than what we do right now. So. Right. Well, we appreciate this group from uh, uh, Altro Church of God for being here tonight. And remember their phone number to get in touch with them, 606-398-2623. And they'll tell you more about their service and everything. So our time has come and gone from all of us. We want to say good night and God bless you. Bless you, Lord. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.